Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's Caffeine for the Soul. And today's part one of a, a little mini-series on mental health. And, and, and the question that I'll be exploring in, in, in these podcasts is, what is mental health? Now, most of you know, if you've listened to my podcast before, then you, you, you know some of my backstory. You know that I struggled with depression and suicidal ideation in my teen years, came to a head when I was 19, and then... I came out the other side realizing that for me, I, I, I wasn't really wanting to kill myself. I just thought about it a lot. And that the fact that I thought about it a lot didn't mean anything. It was just a thought. And, and the freedom that I began to find on the other side of that is what the basis of a lot of my work is. Now, at that time, if you had asked me what is mental health, I would have said, well, mental health would be if I don't think thoughts like that anymore. Mental health would be if I don't feel this way anymore. Looking back on it, I can see that it was my mental health that got me through that. It was my underlying capacity to see beyond my thinking that allowed me to have all that thinking and all the depressing feeling that came with it and all the anxious thinking and anxious feeling that came with it, and still function. So, in a way, my mental health was working overtime to keep bouncing me back up to the surface so I could continue to function while all of that was going on. And in that sense, mental health and physical health are very similar. Many things that we think of as illnesses are your physical health reasserting itself in the body. So when we vomit, it is your physical health getting rid of toxins from the body. When you get feverish and sweaty, it is your physical health that is sweating out the toxins. Even things like a cold and being stuffed up when you have a cold is your physical health blocking germs from getting into the system. Well, in the same way, our mental health is that continual movement back towards well-being. And it may come out in ways, some of the things that, ways that our mental health expresses are pretty low level and, and they're uncomfortable. Like depression is actually your mental health stopping your anxiety. It's like a hairdryer with a, uh, an override switch so it can't overheat. That at a certain point it just switches off so it won't catch fire. Well, that's as best I can tell in, in now 30 years of looking into this, that, d- that depression is your mental health's way of handling excessive anxiety, ex- excessive anxious thinking. Now, ultimately, our mental health can be measured by, to my mind, two things. One is our level of resilience. In other words, How quickly, how easily do we get over things? Do we bounce back from things? Do we get past things? And and, and I want to make a distinction that I don't mean by that ignore things, suppress things, repress things. I mean genuinely get back to good. Right? There are all sorts of things in your life, all sorts of times where you've been truly upset that if you think back on it now, you can't even really remember why you're upset. That's your mental health at work. That is our innate resilience coming to the fore. Now, I get you could use this to beat yourself up. You go, well, it takes me forever to get over things, and there's some stuff I'm never going to get over, and God, my mental health is awful. Well, that's not your mental health talking. That's all you're thinking about why you're crap, right? Now, we've all got our own version of it. But underneath all our thinking, before all our thinking, is this innate movement towards wellness, towards well-being, towards peace of mind. It's an innate ability to get over things, 
to get beyond things, not by ignoring them, necessarily, though I, you could, but by seeing through them, by simply recognizing that when we think about something a lot, it seems like a big deal, and when we don't, it doesn't. Now, there's another way for me that, that this innate mental health shows up in us, and it's that we start to see the big picture. We start to see the kindness of the design. We start to see how things unfold in ways that can seem pretty rough at the time, but actually are unfolding for our good, like a cold, like a fever, like vomiting. Right? These are all things that nobody would say, well, that's great. And yet, if you understand how it works, you know, yeah, this is, this is the system taking care of itself. And you'll start to see that more and more with your own mental health. You'll start to see the kindness of the design. And then maybe a really simple way of thinking about it and the one I'll finish with for this first part of this What is Mental Health series, is our mental health, to a certain extent, is experienced as well-being, as peace of mind, as a background sense that all is well. And we are all born with this. It is innate in us. Now, in the second part of this little mini-series, I'm going to speak to what it is in us that can recognize our mental health, what is different when we realize it, and, and, and how that comes about. But for today, I just encourage you to just contemplate the idea. What if you're already mentally healthy. You just don't know it. Have fun, learn heaps, happy exploring, and I'll pick up on this theme in the next podcast. 